eBay have just launched their new authenticity guarantee here in England. Now I know this service has been available in America for some time, uh, but they've just rolled it out here in England. So anything sold, any watch sold over £2,000 falls into that category. So for example, this is my Tudor Black Bay that I bought brand new from Tudor. Now, if I was to sell this on eBay now, I'd, this would probably fall into that £2,000 uh, mark. So I wouldn't sell and send this off to the buyer. I'd send it off to eBay uh, with any documentation and books and any other paperwork that I have with the watch. Now, what they would do is they would check over the watch. But from what I've seen, the checks they're doing are very basic and minimal. They're going to check the dial to make sure the dial is correct. They're going to check the hands again, make sure they're correct. They check the bezel. Now they said they check the bezel. I don't know if that's just to make sure the bezel is working, but that's all what they do. They just rotate it. So I don't quite understand that. Uh, they'll check the bracelet to make sure the bracelet is all okay and it's authentic and it's not an aftermarket bracelet. Uh, and they'll check the back case. They'll check the serial numbers. But what they won't do is open up the back case. Now I can understand why they're not going to do that is because once you open up the back case, then you're going to have to replace the seals. And if you don't replace the seals with authentic Tudor seals, then then it's not going to be any good. Uh, and also, it can void the warranty. So most companies now, or watch companies, uh, offer five-year warranties, like Breitling or Mega, I think they offer five-year warranties. So if you were to sell a watch which is still under warranty, as soon as somebody else has opened the back case, that's it, the warranty is void. And uh, Amiga or Breitling or whoever else will say, well, we're not going to fix anything under the warranty now. So that opens up a great big can of worms, I think, because what's to stop anybody swapping out the movement? Now, this runs the ETA 2824 movement. So it's got the old, it's the first generation, it's got the old uh, ETA movement in. So if you look on eBay, you can find watches which are sold as spares or repair. So everything is, is original. So the case, the dial, the hands, the bracelet is all okay, but the movement is damaged. Now that could be caused by water damage or it could be caused by any other number of things that can damage uh, mechanical movements. They could have dropped it or something inside could have just broken. So you can usually buy these watches fairly cheap. So what's to prevent somebody from buying one of these spares or repair watches and then replacing the movement with a generic ETA movement? Yeah, fair enough, it's, it's probably the same movement, but it's not a Tudor installed movement. It doesn't even have to be Tudor. Breitling uh, Omega used to use ETA movement. So if you were to buy a Breitling, for example, which has been water damaged, uh, you took out the movement, uh, bought a, a cloned uh, 775 movement, put it in the watch, everything else will be fine. So the watch itself, when you look at it, is a genuine watch. But until you open up the movement, then you don't know. So this, people are still going to get top dollar for their their watch even though the movement is incorrect now the movement is i i think the most important part it's the heart of the the watch if that's not correct then well what's the point of having a case which is right and then the other thing is they're just going to look at the case the dial and everything else like i said earlier the problem they may face later on is these super fakes which are coming out are so good they could slip by now can you tell the difference between which is right and which is wrong here. So this may prevent people from, once they've bought a watch, now if I was to buy a watch, if I was to buy this watch on eBay, the first thing I would do is I would take it to Tudor and have them check it over to make sure everything is correct. Will this, people will think, well, okay, eBay have checked it, so there's, there's no need for me to go. And now probably Tudor would charge you for it. So people are going to be thinking, okay, I don't want to be spending whatever they'll charge, 50, 100 pounds or whatever they'll do just to make sure the watch is correct. So people may not do that. They may not get their watches checked. So they could be walking around for years with a watch which is not genuine. So I don't know, has anybody else had this, especially uh, anyone from America where they've bought a watch from eBay and they've used this guarantee? Has anyone else been caught out? Um, I haven't heard anything because I don't buy or sell anything on eBay. Um, I don't trust eBay at all. I think it's just full of scammers and I would never buy a watch off eBay at all. Uh, I would much rather spend the extra uh, and buy it uh, from somebody either I know or I would go to a dealer 
uh, and buy it that way, that way I know everything is correct and also I have somewhere to go to if anything goes wrong with it. So let me know what you guys think of this uh, authenticity guarantee. Is it worth what they say? Is it worth the paper it's written on? Well, you do get a authenticity guarantee paperwork from eBay and um, it is a free service, but I think it is a good thing they're doing it, but I hope it doesn't prevent people from having their watches checked again uh, to make sure that the watch is guaranteed original. So let me know what you guys think. Would you be happy to buy a watch off eBay now that they're using this system or has it made you more likely to buy a watch now that this system is in place or from America that it's been in place? So let me know what you think.